Hi, my name is Eric Weitz. I'm Associate Director of the GSA. I also do a little teaching on the acting modules, on the uh, acting strand for the full-time course, and so I can give a kind of an overview of what we try to accomplish here at the school. In looking to train actors, what you're really trying to do is teach people how to play the instrument, which is basically themselves, their voice, their body, their uh, thought, their feeling, their spirit, their instinct, basically whatever you can think of that would be a part of who you are, that is part of your instrument. And so um, if we're looking at the program as a whole, what we're really trying to do is teach you how to both strengthen and build your instrument at the same time that you're trying to learn how to play it for yourself. Um, this can be tricky because uh, if you think about it, the instrument you're trying to learn how to play is also the one you use in real life every day. And so there is uh, both an advantage and a challenge to it in that you are, you are yourself and that's what you draw upon for your acting, but you're also trying to, in a way, stand outside of yourself so that you can learn how to play it better and see how other people do things. Um, there are a lot of things that we can say and that we can help you with that will help you learn something about your instrument, but only you can learn how to play it because it's yours. The two years that you have here in acting, um, we hope to give you a lot and form a set steady and solid foundation, but really also what we're hoping to equip you with is the ability to continue to build and strengthen and learn how to play it yourself as you go on after you leave us and for the rest of your life because your, your instrument never stops changing and your ability to play your instrument never stops changing as well and presumably you get wiser and more experienced as you get older and um, that is something that goes with you through the rest of your, well, so-called career as an actor is to how to continue to learn and adjust and to play my instrument better and better and better. Basically our program is for two years, last two years. The first year is devoted to um, reintroducing you to your instrument or kind of rebooting your relationship with your instrument. Um, and so most people come here with some kind of experience, a way that they worked on plays, whether it's in school or in amateur drama or possibly in other courses, because um, not everybody comes here directly out of secondary school. Um, but what we try to do is get you right back to the beginning so that you are thinking of your instrument as such. Um, you're thinking about how it works, you're finding out things about it, you're finding out about how it relates to other instruments on the stage, how it relates to space, how it re relates to um, configurations in the theater, whether it's proscenium or in the round. And in the second year, we take that foundation and we try to expand it to more challenging areas. So you would have reason to work on texts by Shakespeare, um, there would be a module about um, modern European playwrights and there are others involved as well. So um, there's a wide array of um, branches in that second year uh, approach. I also do some teaching in the second year. I do a weekly acting class with second years and that ends up being kind of somebody to see you through the year and to make sure that all of these different concepts all of these th different ideas kind of get tied together um, and also to, to make sure that you're thinking about what you're learning at the same time, although we also like to play games and that never ends. Um, I guess I would say that I think for all of us here, the idea of play being the um, kind of the spark of creativity is something that we're constantly trying to um, impart to students and give you practice in. Um, I have a, you know, I usually talk to uh, acting students, whether they're first years or second years, when I first meet them and talk about the idea that we need to find some sense of childlike play in us that society kind of tries to 
get out of us when we're on the way to becoming responsible adults. Um, and that is directly opposed to the creative spirit. You need the adultness because you need to be disciplined and you need to be intelligent about the way you go about your work. But at the same time, there's this co-present um, impulse that we like to cultivate, and that is just to be childlike in your wonder, in your creativity. Um, so this is something that I would say underpins the um, all the kinds of acting strands or acting modules, acting classes that we that I'm gathering now in together under the acting module. You could say that all of the classes in our school are acting classes, even though some of them are called voice and some of them are called movement and even theater history and singing and dancing and anything else. They're all acting because they all contribute to your instrument, to the cultivation of your instrument and to the fine tuning of its various capabilities, physical and otherwise. Um, but as I said, acting is the is the strand that goes through your two years and is pretty much devoted to really focusing on how you play your instrument and how you see your instrument working from the outside in collaboration with all these other instruments and the environment of theater.